she's worked with everyone from Kanye West and Neo to Jennifer Lopez mm. and Mary J. Blige just happens to be her mentor. Oh, why not? Yeah, just Mary J. Blige. Yeah, just Mary J. Blige. <laughs> but you know, now she's making her own music. So here to talk about her first single, Clothing Line and Mission to Save Lives, is singer and songwriter Starshell. Welcome. Starshell. Oh, hello, hello. Okay, first of all, that hair. Right. <laughs> Obsessed. The hair, the clothes, it's all working. Thank yeah. you so much. Just go ahead and cut that off when, and leave that, <laughs> sell that on the black market for a lot of money, girl. It's so funny because <laughs> when I was younger, my hair was this big and, um, I finally grew into it. Mm -hmm. Like when I was like in second grade, they're like, you know, the girl with the big hair. Mm -hmm. And I used to hate it. I wanted straight, Aww. flat hair. So, well, it's working for thank you, you now. So, uh, <laughs> thank you. you it. And your name is working for you too, but tell us the touching story thank about you. how you chose this name, Starshell. Yes, so Starshell is something that's, uh, is a name that's very important to me. Um, it was my sister's birth name. Um, I lost my sister's suicide. Oh, um, yeah. sorry to hear that. Yeah, um, working through it and, and through having her name, it's it's an honor to her and in remembrance of her. And even further than that, it, um, when I decided to change my uh, performance name to Star Shell, it was interesting because I found out that a Star Shell is an, a form of artillery that's used to light battlefields in the time of darkness. Oh. So I was like, okay, this is too good and this is divine. So it's basically a reminder that she's always with me. Mm. And, um, you know, kind of lighting the way for me. Oh, and she's Beautiful. the inspiration behind some of your music as well. Tell us about the new song that's dedicated and inspired by her. Definitely, I have a song out right now. It's called My Star. My Star. Um, it was co-written by Neo. Oh, who I... who's that? Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, is that a person? <laughs> exactly. Um, and it's just basically about exactly that, you know, having to fall to get up. I had to, mm. you know, die to be reborn because pretty much when she, di when she passed away, I had to relearn how to live, mm -hmm. you know? Like, it, it was a whole different life for me. So it, that song really embodies that and he really hit it home um, by helping me articulate myself through that song. And since you're a big songwriter yourself, why did you decide to team up with Neo to do it? And how did you get through such an emotional song for you that's so personal? <sighs> yes, I am a writer and I, that's why it was so crazy that I couldn't write it myself. Mm. I found myself just writing too much. Mm -hmm. Like a song has to be like three minutes, yes. three and a half minutes. And um, I pretty much was too emotional and, and wrote too like a book. Invested. Exactly. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Like I started writing stuff like remember the morning two you know years ago mm -hmm. when you know stuff right. that can't right. be in a yeah. song. It's so not a hook. <laughs> yeah. Maybe in your book. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Maybe exactly. Yeah. So Neil was just the perfect story writer, and I really admire his work. And um, we sat for like four or five hours talking mm -hmm. about my story, and um, he came up with those lyrics as if he were you know. He knew my sister and he was a part of my life forever. So it's mm -hmm. really special to me. We have to talk about Love Lockdown. Mm. Yes. One of my favorite let's treadmill songs. Yeah, let's do it. With Kanye, <laughs> 808 mm -hmm. and Heartbreaks. How did you team up with him? Is he the creative genius that he says he is everywhere, particularly on Jimmy Kimmel? Um, <laughs> right. So linking up with Kanye West was another one of those things that um, just was meant to be uh, in the studios. Everybody is always in the studio. It's like a big high school, mm -hmm. right? Especially yeah. in like the hubs. LA, LA New York, Miami. Atlanta, Miami. Exactly. So uh, I, w I happened to be in the studio with Mary J. Blige one day and he was in the studio. Um, I got introduced to him and he was like, oh, as, as a writer. And he's like, if you're, you're a writer and I'm working on this new project and you know, he, I, he completely inspires me and mm -hmm. his music inspires me. And so um, having that opportunity was kind of like on the spot. He was like, you're a writer. Pull out a pad. So the the, um, the but synergy how does that in the process work. So you pull out a yellow pad. He pulls out a yellow pad. I've been in the studio with Kanye, so I kind of know his mm -hmm. process. But what was it like for you? It was actually a big group of people mm -hmm. in the studio that day. Okay. Uh, a bunch of uh, producers: Jeff Basker, uh, Mike Dean, mm -hmm. like a lot of the people that he works with often. And you know, everybody had kind of input about this new sound, this sound that was like rap music, but with this like up tempo yeah, drums, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So it was it was fun and um, everybody kind of gave their input and I was just so um, lucky to be able to be a part of that and, and give my input. How much lyrics. pressure is on you with a room full of stars, Kanye? <laughs> they're, they're like, okay, take this and make a song out of it. <laughs> oh my God. Make it hot, you. right. Uh, I want it too. <laughs> give me your love lockdown. It was a um, love lockdown. Yeah. yeah. Hey, let's bring it up. Bring it up. 
Hey! Give me your thumb, thumb down. Oh, sorry. man. Yeah, she gets oh, carried away sometimes. Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah. not, the, her, I'm not the singer? Her interview. Oh, no, sorry. Okay. Your interview. <laughs> love it. I, I love it. Um, yeah, not, oh, it, wasn't, it wasn't very intimidating. Okay. It was very family or, like, it, it felt like a big family and they were very okay. um, open to my suggestions mm -hmm. and my creativity. So oh, when you beautiful. mentioned Mary J. Blige earlier, I know you've toured with her and now you become her mentee. Now, how did you guys first meet and become bestest friends? <laughs> yeah, that also is something that, you know, I feel like is part of um, this kind of thing that was supposed to happen for me mm. um, in, in my platform. But I had a demo and I was shopping it and I got told no a zillion mm. times, really? maybe a zillion and one. Okay. And so I finally was introduced to Ken Du Isaacs, who is Mary J. Blige's husband mm. and partner in Matriarch Records. Uh, he met me, he heard my demo. He wasn't particularly th th uh, blown away by it. Okay. But what he did say is that I wrote and recorded every single song on it, and he was impressed with that. Okay. So he then introduced me to Mary the very next night. She was um, in the studio with Marsha Ambrose writing oh, for yeah. Stronger With Each Tear. Mm -hmm. And I got in the studio, I was really, really nervous. I had butterflies, it was like weird, this is Mary, oh my God. <laughs> and then when I met her, it was like we knew each other forever. Wow. Like we really connected on a personal level, we became friends, um, we wrote together for like the next two weeks because she was in the studio for a bulk of time working mm -hmm. on the album. And it, the rest was history. So what is the most important lesson you've learned from her as her mentee? Her work ethic. Oh, yeah. oh my God, yes, she, she works. works the hardest. It's like she's been in this game for 20 years, um, and it's like as if she just came in, into the industry yesterday. And it's that's, interesting that's because thing. sometimes, you know, veteran artists, particularly women, aren't necessarily that quick to embrace younger artists. So the right. fact that she's taking you under her wing is right. a great sign. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's, it, she's basically, Matriarch Records says it all. That's mm -hmm. the name of her label, and she really is that matriarch, and she's kind of opening the door for younger girls, myself and others, and it's just a beautiful thing. I really admire her. But before we go, you're also opening many doors for young people. You're a spokesperson for the American F a Foundation of Suicide prevention. That's now right. what does that mean to you and what message are you trying to get across? Well it means everything to me. Um, like I said before my sister um, passed away suicide and um, it took me a very long time to try to come to terms with that meant yeah. because people don't think about like suicide is something that there is no explanation right so mm -hmm. afterwards you're forever wondering why didn't she come to my door I was like two doors down What's wrong with our family? There's a stigma attached to suicide, even though someone dies of suicide for every 40 seconds of every day. Really? Yes, I feel like, and double as many people die of suicide than, do, um, than AIDS really? every year. Yeah, but it's just no not idea. talked about. Mm. So I realize that there needs to be a voice in this you know, cause mm -hmm. that um, people can relate to and people can kind of detach the stigma from. Mm. Kind of like what Magic Johnson did with HIV, you know, in the 80s by saying, look, this isn't something that you can stereotype. This isn't something that you can see. It's not crazy. Mm -hmm. It's something that everyday people are dealing with. And, um, you know, someone close to you could be struggling with depression or mm. things like that. So it's really, really important to me, um, the cause. and. Um, American Foundation for Suicide Prevention and being able to be a spokesperson for them. Okay, wow. let's end yeah. on a high note. This crop top is everything. You have your own Thank clothing you. line. Really quickly, just plug it really quickly because yes. we gotta go. Tell me. It's Birth a, what is birthday it called? Girl. Birthday, birthday Girl. Birthday Girl. Okay. It's back to suicide prevention awareness. Mm -hmm. Celebrate you. Celebrate life every day just like it's your birthday. So it's kind of like a positive spin on the whole you know, suicide prevention and awareness. Okay. Nice. And I brought you something. Oh, I brought you Now, Lola, you gotta cut that off into a crop top. <laughs> I oh, yeah, you gotta do the little, you know. Not do, okay. do a little, have, few more sit-ups. We've gotta first, go now, but... so can you sing us out to break? Sing us a little something as we go to break? I will you definitely want. tell okay. you to check out birthdaygirlworld.com. Birthdaygirlworld.com. Yes, okay. so okay. that you guys can teach your own thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the singing show. Let's yes, do it. Yes, we wanna hear a little beats from you, though. Love lockdown here. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. You're watching Arise Entertainment 360.